Yeah, I, um, I started this program around October of this year. And for me, it was more of, I had done a lot of my own journey myself, for better or for worse, um, and really sort of just needed a place where I could finish the rest of my own self-acceptance and identifying and healing. Uh, and that's when I heard about the chat room and Ms. Link and sort of just came in and it was like I had always been destined to be here. <laughs> uh, and it was wonderful. It was the most accepting experience I've ever had coming into a room and knowing that there was someone here that was always going to be there and that this wasn't going to change. You couldn't get kicked out of chat. It was always going to be here. Just made a complete difference. For me, this program has been just a monumental help. Um, I've had a lot of bereavement issues um, in my life and over the summertime and during school and if it hadn't been for this program I probably would have quit coming to school altogether but uh, this room gave me a safe space to heal to get my thoughts together and um, despite going through some tragedies I was able to still continue you know attending school in general so I owe that completely to the chat room and Miss Link and all of her tremendous work she does here. Oh, just just constant you know tremendous support I I would never go to another adult with the, the things that I come to Ms. Link to with, I suppose. Um, there, I really, it's hard, it's really hard to articulate just how much it helps to just come in here and have an adult who you can trust and you know, you know you can talk to them about anything and there's no consequences or no reprimand. You can just say whatever's on your heart and she's there to listen and she's there to support you and help you. The students in this room um, really didn't have a lot of confidence prior to coming in and the confidence that they gained through understanding themselves and being able to become more successful that confidence is key in allowing them to talk about what's going on and to find a room where they can be together and it was interesting the peer talking that went on and, and um, students were saying oh I tried to help her and tell her not to do those things and then they would say oh my goodness I'm doing the same thing so that sense of self-reflection so when we found that the students were embracing what was going on here and then they started to share their stories. The chat program is available and open to anyone. It is a referral basis. So it is kind of maybe a teacher saw a red flag in a student that got us to recognize that maybe they needed it. A lot of it has been the students hearing about the program and asking themselves. So that is great right off the bat that you self-advocated to even be here. Um, others have been through guidance. The guidance counselors recognize a student that might need that extra space and connection with the staff at the school. Um, I've asked kids before if they feel like separate and they said not at all. They come to school, they feel like they walk the halls a little bit with, a little, with more confidence. Um, one of the big things that we get because the program is grades 9 to 12, male, female, any given time throughout the day it's almost like a drop-in sort of centre. They're making connections with other kids at the school they normally would never have talked to or connected with because they're not on the basketball team or they're not in the leadership club. They're just walking the halls of the school maybe not knowing anybody. So I had a girl tell me once, I spent all last year walking the halls of the school. I never say hi to anybody. I eat lunch by myself. Now I wave to people. She's like, I'm not best friends with all these people but I wave to someone now. No one ever waved to me before. That's just the first step, but that made me sad because I thought how many other kids at the school feel alone and isolated? And so maybe academically and you feel well balanced and all that, but just to build relationships and give you more friendships also helps, I think, your overall high school experience. Things like positive peer relationships or positive engagement in extracurricular activities build students' self-confidence. And so what we've observed through our research is that if you can support and develop student self-confidence as a learner, it has a huge impact on downstream achievement. So I think a lot of our research is showing just exactly what kind of strategies can you implement to support kids in a social and emotional way that we know predicts and, and uh, is a causal support for downstream academic achievement. A number of students that have come into the school and just have been struggling where they were previously and, and are good candidates for the CHAT program and have come in here and just found their place. Just maybe they're not honor roll students, but they're, they're coming to school, right? And they're here and they're uh, able to do that. And for a lot of kids, that's, that's a success. We have a large number of students at the school dealing with anxiety, diagnosed and undiagnosed, um, depression as well, and addiction issues. We have grades 9 to 12 at the school, so we do deal with some addiction issues. Um, we have some students who've used the program to transition out of a treatment facility. So one student, for example, um, spent uh, four months of her life living away in a treatment facility, away from her family and everything, to get the rehab that she needed. Uh, one of the decision factors for her family coming back 
and picking a school was, is there a school that would support that transition? It's very difficult to go from an intense um, treatment program and just plunk you back into a class of 40-something kids. They chose Cochrane High because of the CHAT program. So, and every student is different. Her particular situation, she spent the first two weeks in the program. So she was in the building, she was here, students knew she was back, but it felt safe for her to come back and she slowly transitioned and gradually got back into her classes quite, quite successfully. Um, actually just last week ended up on the honor roll. For my daughter, it gives her a second chance. Honestly, um, after missing, like she said in her speech, missing most of uh, grade nine um, due to various issues, bullying and, and whatnot, um, the ability for her to claw back um, what she'd kind of lost and, and, and find herself um, from being a lost teenager to, to somebody who's really got goals and ambition in life, uh, I 100% put that on the program. I think, I think it's just fantastic to change her from um, you know, where we were headed to a whole new future. We're all excited. We're very, very happy for what she's done. Uh, we're, we're excited to what she's going to do in life. Um, and this is, this is a huge, huge part of it. Um, I think, uh, and again, as, as I was saying a minute ago, it's not, as, as important as it is, it is to Sydney, it's the, the program itself has made a huge impact, I think, to the community as a whole. I think for all of us, our whole family has been affected by this. Um, her coming home and being so excited and so happy, the discussions we have at home, um, our relationships with the teachers, with the, with the school itself. Everything about this program is just, it's absolutely phenomenal. And like we said earlier, you know, too bad it didn't exist <laughs> 30, 40 years ago, uh, but it's, it's fantastic. And I think it's something that, you know, obviously every school should have. I think every community should have something like this. Um, Nothing but good. I can't. I can't see a downside to this. It's fantastic. It's just. It's freedom for our children to be themselves, and then bring it home and show us how they feel, so we can let them know that it's okay. And I think that'll build stronger family bonds, as well as the friendships they build in this room. They'll never go away. They'll have them forever. It's like a second family almost. You get really close with people you wouldn't talk to normally and then you just you realize that you're all there for each other no matter what and that anything that might be going on isn't as big as it might seem when you're going through it. Um, so to be a part of something that I feel like is just really beginning and when I say, when I say that I mean I think that eventually like let's say five years from now even I think that you're going to see more and more programs in schools that are supporting student mental health and wellness. I just feel like ours is one of the first. It's unique to our school and maybe it fits differently in other schools, but I, I think there's so much room to grow and how in our school division that we're going to expand that and then throughout the province how it might grow.